there will be a lot of exciting new services offered by 6G technology. However, all of them will require a lot of new infrastructure for communication to offer all those services. A lot of it will come down to having essentially unlimited data rate availability. So in 6G communication, we want to exploit this terahertz frequency range to obtain very high bandwidths, to eventually obtain very high data rates. And to achieve this, we need to develop new technology. My name is Ingmar Kalfas. I'm a professor with the University of Stuttgart and I'm directing the Institute of Robust Power Semiconductor Systems. And together with my team, I'm active in research and education in microwave and power electronics. For a team of researchers at a university like mine, it is very hard or virtually impossible to develop new instrumentation with features which do not yet exist in commercial products. My team is developing radios in the form of monolithic millimeter wave integrated circuits, MMICs, operating at a center frequency of 300 gigahertz. Telehealth communication for 6G applications will exploit new frequency ranges. To implement radios at these frequencies, we need to be able to characterize the channel both in time and in frequency domain. This combination of having an instantaneous, simultaneous measurement of time domain signals with frequency domain characteristics is giving us this possibility to correct for the deformations which occur in the channel. The Crosslink system was developed in the frame of a funding program by the German Science Foundation. The Crosslink story is one of a very close, intensive, collaboration between my research team and Keysight and also VDI, which both contributed. So together with Keysight, we defined a new instrumentation, something with features that weren't available before on the market. And it is the Crosslink system, which allows us to measure the channel performance, including the radio, the transmit and receive front end and all its distortions, and to eventually correct for these distortions. That is the novel feature of this system. And that is what is required for 6G applications. We know things are hard. We're trying to do something new. So I don't think they said there was anything we didn't expect. Every scientist, every engineer, wants the very best of what they can imagine is possible. But the reality of it is, there's always certain things that you can do at that point in time. I can get a 30% improvement in even Probably the biggest challenge is always trying to make that match between someone's desires and what you can really, really do. My name is Tom Crow. I am the CEO and founder of Virginia Diodes Incorporated. Virginia Dyers is a spin-out from the University of Virginia. We actually started operations in December of 1996. And back then we were making diodes, specifically gallium arsenide shocky barrier diodes for really high frequency applications. And as we go to 6G, we're just moving up even higher in frequency. And again, it's whereas a scientist was happy to have an instrument that just worked where they didn't have one before for commercial applications. Now it's gotta be really well vetted. It's gotta be perfect. For us, the big change was test and measurement. There's so many people now doing research at terahertz waves, they need a way to measure basic quantities. We needed this intensive collaboration with Keysight and VDI uh, engineers to talk about our idea, what we wanted to realize, and to discuss the way how to actually implement these new functionalities in an instrumentation. Collaboration's been great, because one, Stuttgart was pushing us to really do something new. Keysight had certain things they could do and do very well, but they needed our high-frequency technology. 
And we all had to get together to make sure we defined a program that was not just exciting for University of Stuttgart plus the sponsors of the project, but also possible to do for Keysight and what they could do and for us and for what we can do. And it took some time and some back and forth and a lot of discussions. And eventually, I think we came up with a really good solution. It was a really great moment for me and my team to see the first successful transmission of a complex modulated signal across a terahertz channel using the Crosslink system, which confirmed our original idea of trying to simultaneously combine time and frequency domain measurement. 6G is a necessity. It will require a lot of new technologies, a lot of new communication infrastructure, and the Crosslink concept is dedicated especially to this development of 6G systems.